All right, so we're out on the show floor today and we stopped by our friends at the Grimco booth. Now, Grimco is a nationally based and Canada and UK now yep. distributor of signed products. You guys do substrates, you do inks, you do vinyl, pretty much the gamut, even some aluminum, yep. things aluminum, like that, right? LEDs, illuminated, sign side, everything. You know, we've been loyal clients to Grimco for, man, I don't even know, We've known each other for a long years, time, guys. Long, long yeah, time. Yeah. Learned and, a lot from each other, yep, too. Exactly, so yeah. we're here with Michael Kerber. I've known this guy forever. And Julio, I just met today, so I want to no. introduce these guys to you. And uh, you were just kind of talking about the show, going around, and all those people out there that didn't get a chance to come to the show. We're mm -hmm. trying to tell them, you know, yeah. what's going on here, and is there any new technology coming out, things like that. Absolutely. Well, it excites us that we receive such, you know, motivated uh, audience here. It is the first show after the pandemic. It almost feels like a reunion now, right? Yeah, it's totally true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've been kind of getting we're that talking, vibe as well. I haven't had a too. chance to see you guys in person just watching you on YouTube. That's how I, uh, you yeah. know, my yeah, you kids know you better than I do these days. <laughs> That's, great. Yeah. That's great. So, Michael, tell us about, you know, what you do at the company, what, what your roles yeah. are, how long yeah. you've been with Grimco? Yeah, so I've been with Grimco for 19 years, in the industry 19 years, and uh, I've done a little bit of everything from warehousing to breaking forth lists and fixing them and stuff like that. But um, anything, so what I do with Grimco these days is I oversee our LED development, Dale. And, and that is talking about getting, uh, we have a product line called Hanley LED. It's a Grimco exclusive line where we R&D, we, we engineer it, yeah. we, we quality control it. And it's what we call a tier one LED. But what makes it unique is we are the manufacturer. But Grimco is also the distributor of it. So from a cost standpoint, it's really effective, but it's high end. But what we work on is uh, getting Hanley LED specced into national programs because people expect high-end stuff. Sure. But if you get outside of LEDs, um, people development is a lot of what we do. Staying connected, kind of like we're talking about, bringing the show to everybody. There's too much industry knowledge for one person to know. We've got to be partners in the industry and educate and teach each other. Yep. So we're educating people on the new HP latex technology, the Epson and Mamaki technologies. LED technology is through the roof right now with yep. us. And so in in and, and rap media and rap kits, and there's so That's much right. new stuff in the industry. Uh, you need people who can tell you and help you find not just the right stuff, but teach more about the industry and if you can't make it to the show, let's yep. bring it to you. Let's yeah. bring it to That's everyone else. That's a great else. idea. It's yeah. a great idea. Awesome. Julio, so what do you do here at the sure. company? In my case, you know, in the industry since, you know, uh, 1991, <laughs> it's been an awesome ride, yeah. all technology, uh, we've seen hundreds of these trade shows, and it excites us these days to come and find the new technology for our customers. But also, in my role today, after uh, you know 20 plus years of sales and technology, uh, in the human resource department, we have found it very timely to come to these events and just extract some of the wisdom and knowledge of all of our people here, sure. and bring some of our people to the show and teach them and equip them and enable them to establish that, those relationships with the customers. Yes, yeah, so that's what you're doing now. This you is my current role. In that. Indeed, that's, 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 that's my current role. Really our, our, our website is a big resource for our customer base, mm -hmm. and what what's unique about that is that it's it's not that we don't want to talk with the customers. We want our sales reps and our and our customer service team to be available to mentor, right. to coach, and advise. Instead of just shipping boxes, we run, really want to help you fit companies figure out how to expand their businesses and new ideas and things like that. Yep. So we're all about relationships. So much so, when I started with Grimco Dale, when I first met you, we had 14 locations. 14. We are up to over 60 locations in U.S., Canada, and now the U.K. That's and so crazy. Grimco is a global company, yep. but we really try to keep our mentality small. Yep. And really, and, and really make sure yeah. we're servicing the local distribution and, and support. Yep, and that's a good point too, because and Rick can attest to this as well. You got all these sign. How many sign company clients do you have? Guess, guess well, to me. Thousands, like, I'd say. Over, I, 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 our, our system's got over a hundred thousand sign 100, companies. Okay. Just, just in the U.S. Just in, alone. Just in the United States. Yeah. That's great. Hundred thousand sign companies and. On the regular, I'll call this dude up on my ride home and say, hey man, we got this project and this is what's happening with it and it's not, and he's like, oh, you're using the wrong product. You need to use this product. And I'm calling the guy up yeah. and I assume you don't yeah. do that with everybody, but I mean, you, it's, you it's, guys, it's awesome. You, you guys, my wife and my know. kids know it's Dale. So uh, we're taking care of, but no, you guys did <laughs> right some awesome, dinner time. you guys did some awesome projects over at Camping World Stadium and, and, and with Sun Tracks as well. And, and it, it takes a partnership to figure out how to light this type of acrylic in this way with the least amount of LEDs or we need these lights to be brighter than 
in the stadium lights. How do you figure exactly. that out? Exactly. That's that's yeah. the stuff. That's we love the thing doing. too. Like the technical stuff. Okay, we got this cabinet. It's this deep, and we're having hot spots or, or dark spots. And you're like, okay, move these closer together, move farther apart. Use this different LED, different product. The personal, I don't know, the technical assistance it's, that we get yeah, from you guys. It's a personal man, touch. It really is. And, you know, no matter how big your company is or gets, mm -hmm. if you still have that relationship mm -hmm. with your you know, your clients, yeah. and it works in every business, yeah. I guess. You, you, know, you guys you engineer some cool that. stuff. You guys engineer some really neat things, and to do so, your, your LEDs are further away from the face or closer mm -hmm. to the face. What's the right doing? You can make things smaller, but then if you double your cost in lighting, it it, it, it offsets the benefit of using less aluminum, And but it, it, takes, it takes an army to figure point. all yeah. that stuff out, and then make sure that the wind in Florida doesn't blow things over. It's I love seeing the stuff you guys build, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a nerd, and I geek out over it. Yeah. You know the latest technology in the industry. You know, like there's maybe products that we might not even know about. Yep. You're like, oh wait, hold on, I got the perfect thing for that, you know, for that application. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's why we're here too. So why don't we go and take a look and show yep. us a couple of these things? Yep. You got some really cool printers here. What yep. else? You got LED yep. samples? Yeah, so like we've that. got some LEDs that people are specking into different national programs yep. and, uh, and stuff that's bringing their power down and lighting up. But Julio, you know something about a little bit of the equipment that we've Absolutely. got here. You mind chatting with what we've got there? Through. Yeah, yeah, man, I like it. Yeah. All right, here's a little story for you. This is the brand new. HP Latex Inkjet 800 series, 800 is I believe. Model, yeah, okay. this one is that. Yeah. So, as you guys know, we're running a couple of 570s at our shop, and each of them have 600,000 square feet on them. No, we yeah, print, you use them. <laughs> we print 25,000 square feet a month, and we run those things ragged. I mean, they've been there for years, you know? So, typically within three years, we're pushing those things in the dumpster and getting new ones because we run the brakes off yeah. of them, right? So, this is the newest technology. Technology. We're over here panting for it, you know. So tell us a little bit what's different about this 800 series than our 570s. Well, HP continues to lead in just addressing the specific needs of our people in production, production for yeah. example. Okay. You probably remember that you have an optimizer solution in yours, yes. right? Uh, and really, at that point, you don't have a choice to use it or not. It always is part of the printing it. process. Yeah. In this new model, you have a way to segregate that so save that part right so yeah. they have as a result of that reduce your cost of production allow you to be selective remember that uh, they also had a solution the, the chemistry of the ink it was built in a scratch resistant uh, okay. uh, factor yep. ingredient on it in this case they segregated it so you can turn in and on on and off oh, so that part so, so giving you if you're going to always going to laminate if you're always going to laminate something you, you do not need, need that. that part but right? it is in there now it is one of the components of the technology. It's like when your grandma made her famous cookies, right? The sugar is not the ingredient, but the right amount and the right touch and the pinch that she puts in it is why she can do it better than you, right? So when it comes to latex and, and the printing technology, it is, it, like Julio said, it's like one of the ingredients that makes it do what it is, the elasticity of the inks that you guys use when yeah, you're, sure, when you're wrapping around it, tough, it holds like some, the color. Yeah, some of your pest control clients where you're wrapping around some tough curves and turns on your stuff, that promoter on there is part of just the technology that helps helps make sure the ink does what it needs yep. to do, which is stretch yep. and wrap and, and cure faster yep. and things like that. That's great. And, and for you guys watching out there, I don't know how long, I'll, obviously, all you guys have been in the industry, but we've been digitally printing for 29 years or so. I mean, back before when it was thermal resin in, in the very beginning, but our first ink jets that we got were solvent-based ink jets. So it was a solvent-based ink, yeah. which I they still have now, right? Oh yeah, they yeah. still yeah. exist, yeah. But you walk into our shop and it smelled like a body shop. You I walked mean, into this the, show. The fumes, and the you, solvents yeah. of it. So, <laughs> the entire yeah, air. so and it was year, we ran those things for probably five, six years yeah. until the HP, right? Yes. Pioneered the latex technology yeah. and the very first machine, I don't know what it was, 180 or whatever it was. No, actually, I, it was the um, latex at 2500. 2500. 2500 That's yeah, right. Yeah. And then the 2500 LT. Yeah. Did he have the other yeah, one or something like that? 2600. Yeah, 2650. Yeah. So and when then that just technology came yeah. out, we, we, we lined up, got two of those machines, two or three we had, and ran. So we switched over to latex years and years yeah. ago and have never looked back. One of my one of the favorite things that we did at uh, a previous ISA is we've we've actually worked very closely with HP and 3M to not even just print on wrap media, but you can use a latex to print directly on that really non-porous reflective sheeting. So 
all these signs that people are making today for um, online order pickup and stuff like yeah. that, you can print on parking lot reflective. Yeah, we do it all the time. Green. You do it all the yeah. time. Yeah, we do it all the time. Yeah, we, we take those printers in our in our production division. We've got a production plant where we can we we lop off thousands of stop signs and traffic signs every single day, and we also make wow. uh, tons of, of parking signs, one-off parking signs, and we'll set that latex up. Put a roll of reflective. Put, put a four thousand dollar roll of reflective media on it and go home. Yeah, and come, come back, back the next day, and, and it's just on. it's dried, it's done, ready for production. So, so you you guys sell the products that make the signs, but also jump in on some substrates and make. DOT signs. Yeah. You buy stop signs from yeah. you guys, but it's not like you guys are buying them from somebody else. You're we manufacturing in them in-house. Well, our company was born in 1875 as in manufacturing, and it's a very unique profile. You'll find we have awesome competitors. This industry has really good distributors. One of the main differences in our case is that we also are manufacturers. That's how the company started. And we continue to be a hybrid model. Yep. Yeah, so good. we control not just the you know supply chain issues, but the design, the uh, you know satisfaction of the needs, meeting the needs of our customers. Yeah. Ingenuity and creativity yeah, is a big it. part of um, the technology. We were one of the first companies to put glass beads in the paint to make reflective signs way back before we were all born, right? I think I remember so, that story. So then, so then you well, take- not before Rick yeah, was born. So then you take, well, yeah, not before Rick, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so one of the cool things about Grimco back in the late 1800s, we were a stamp and badge company. We used to emboss police and fireman badges. And, and in that. the early 1900s, when cars became a thing, it was the police department's job to put the street signs up. So since we were already embossing their badges, the streets, uh, the wow. police departments contact us to emboss the old, what's now called an ornate street sign, steel embossed with yeah. the letters raised in. Sure. That's how we used to make it. And so it goes back to that history. Well, oh, fast so forward to the late 70s yeah. when Grimco went into our, our model of, we're still a privately owned company, um, and we just, just growth and ingenuity is a big part. So the technology that we put in our LEDs, taking a company like HP that's built a fantastic printer, pairing them with a great company like 3M and pairing them together and say, we think that printer can print on something you didn't plan for it to do and let's 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 wow. make something happen. Yeah. So traffic sign companies are now using latex printers to print their their um, orange construction yeah. signs. You know, raise your That's hand if you've got amazing. construction on the highways Love in your it. market. Yeah. yeah. A lot of latex sure, going sure. in on Yeah, well deal. see being a manufacturer also besides a distributor, if you see a need for something, you figure out how to make it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's a good yeah, thing. Too. So it's, creativity it's different... and, and ingenuity. Yeah. We, we love doing that, and to me, that's a big part of what a distributor should do. Yep. When, when I mean, there are a lot of us, like Willie said, we have some great competitors in these. We're all friends with them. We come at the shows, yep. we high five yeah, each other, and stuff like that. And there's, there's more to yeah. our lives than the name on our than our shirts and stuff like that. But what a good distributor should do is not just ship and trade boxes. We should be able to advise and and, and develop a right. partnership. Sometimes it's not just product knowledge. Sometimes it's you're trying to take on a big job. How can we support you in making that happen? Sometimes it's a yep. sometimes it's a it's a, a procurement thing and, and supply chain thing. And how do we get ahead of it and, yep. and work on that? To me, that's what a distributor and 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 a customer relationship should really right. be about. Our sign companies, you live and die by your distributors. You know. Yeah. Yeah, because we just did an episode a couple of weeks ago on supply chain issues and you know how raw materials sometimes there are some uh, forms of them are really difficult to get vinyl paint aluminum all that kind of good stuff so tell us how that has affected you guys because I mean we have paint companies or our paint reps that are coming in and they don't have any product to sell us yeah. so it's really difficult for them as sales reps because they're trying to be out there and sell. I can't even imagine have what have you guys dealt with stuff like that absolutely and we have seen the uh, the need to uh, really extract the value of the relationships with our vendors to make sure that the trust that we have and the relationship that we have established over the years now takes one of the, it's one of our advantages because we, we're not going to tell you that we enjoy a privileged position with them, but they know who Grimco is. Yeah. We, they, they, can, can they can take us very seriously in our forecast, they can yeah, take very seriously. Wait, yeah. that's what you say. Yeah. 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 We, we could say that. <laughs> we could say that. But most importantly, it's that community. When, when they inform us ahead of time what's going on, we can change our purchasing model and our inventory model yeah. to help support it. When that communication isn't happening, then you get surprised, we get surprised. So one area we haven't had a whole lot of supply chain challenge are, are Grimco's exclusive lines of products. Brightlight, Duratex Banner, Hanley LED, because our product line managers who are engineering the components and specifying the components that go into them, we're so knee deep into the supply chain of the raw materials. We're, 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 we're predict COVID, but we're, we're planning ahead, planning ahead. 
and, and where we run into challenges is when uh, a manufacturer doesn't communicate that. So us, it's important for us to communicate to sign Sit companies. On. Here's what we're seeing. Here's what we're predicting. Here's where we see the economy going. Think ahead, plan ahead. Price adjustments, yep. price fluctuations is probably the biggest yep. part. We see it all over the place. And the more the more open communication about where we're seeing things going, what jobs that a sign company is working on so we can plan ahead, yep. it's a type of market where planning ahead That's great. Is, is absolutely crucial. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And 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 us for one example, you guys will call us. We, we talk to you guys yep. all the time. Not on a, hey, I need a sheet of MDO board mm -hmm. or I need a roll of vinyl. It's on a, hey, what's going on with this industry? What about mm -hmm. this? What you, we, we got this coming up. You know, yeah. in six months we're going to need you know 25 rolls of this, and you know, so yeah. it's it, it is definitely a, a nice uh, relationship as yeah. far as One reciprocal of, kind of thing. Yeah. One of the things that I that I'm that I'm seeing is really necessary now. It's been part of Grimco's model find one product that accomplishes five different things. Yeah. So whether it's LED lighting, like our streamliner bars, or, or you can media. like digital media, yes, you can You can use this wrap media for this, and a different wrap media for that, and a different thing for that, but what if you can find that one wrap media that allows yeah. you to streamline your inventory, that allows you to, now your, your printer operators are not having to learn this profile, that profile, and all that stuff. Right. If you can, sometimes it might be a little bit more expensive to move to one media, but then now you streamline your shop, you're it. buying one SKU, you yep. guys are we did your masters at years that. Ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah just, you, you find your product that's going to work, and even if mm -hmm. it's a little bit more, we know the failure rate on certain mm -hmm. things. Yeah. You know, we know. If we had problems with handling LEDs over the years that we've been using them, mm -hmm. no. So we don't have any issue of putting those in an Amazon sign and shipping mm -hmm. it to Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's going to make it. We're, 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 we're good with that because of the years of experience, you know, that we've had with you guys. But you guys are you. You also know that we've got probably 15 different varieties of LEDs in the handling family. Yeah. But one of the things we worked on early on is what what two models modules will light up all of your channel letters and cabinets and yes there's something yeah. better you use our four diode modules and those big on um, camp you know the camping uh, world camping stadium world letters where just nine inch deep yeah, sign yeah, yeah. yeah but you guys primarily use two key modules to light yeah. up everything yes we have a we have an energy bar that'll light up cabinets differently we have these streamliners which are great for yeah, yeah. retrofits and like that but once you find the two your two phase p2s right? and p3s you're, you're, and minis we use the minis like yeah. crazy yeah, we, yeah a lot of those we talking yeah. about handling what do you, yeah. you got right there yeah so one of the things that uh, one of the big things in the market that's still going to be around for a long time are retrofitting sign cabinets sure. with lamps and then how do you take the labor take the l out of fabricating the cabinets and retrofitting them how do you make that labor take less time get in and out so your customers don't see the sticker shock when when you've got to go out and do a service call so our streamliner is a direct to socket these are powered by the socket so when you go into a retrofit oh, all you've got to do is that's snip new. out the ballast Pop it in and reconnect your primary power, power with a surge protector, and and that surge protector is is so awesome because it that's that's nine nine times out of ten what makes a what makes a driver go out and sign is just dirty power. Nothing the sign company did. It's just electricity happened. Ben Franklin invented it, and it's still the same stuff. It's unpredictable, right? So so. And when it comes to the idea is to get in and out of the retrofit, sure. so this is powered gotcha. by the socket, so great for retrofits, but we are also big into R&D, so there will be future versions of this that will, can't talk about it now, but that will absolutely, absolutely make this even better for new signs and things like that, but the That's idea great. is that you have no power supplies that you're installing in the sign. Um, it is directly powered by the socket, by the AC power. You cut your power supplies out of the mix. So you're, you're cutting out the ballast and you're uh -huh. not putting a new driver in no, it? No, you don't need a driver. Your, your primary power is going directly to the sockets and you're popping this in and it's oh, changeable which is great so down the line even it, it's it's so much so that even your customers could get in and change a lamp out if they really had to and need to um it's it's getting easier and easier oh, to do stuff like, like that ceiling but bulb. what we're using is the technology so we have tier one leds meaning they're top of the line high-end modules yep. and but what we do is we take this technology and these are already waterproof so instead of building a whole new lamp structure and complicating things, we take the technology that we are fantastic at, which is building waterproof modules that are designed for outdoor signage and applying them to the bar. So this is the same module that we use in our channel letters and everything else. Yep. So you get color consistency. You've got a channel uh, yeah, letter yeah. set and then you've got a cabinet around it. You want to make sure that white point is the same from sign to sign. So yeah, you can yeah. put this in the cabinets, update the channel letters with our energy series, uh, our Phoenix energy series modules that you guys use. And, and you'll get the same white point from channel letters to cabinets to, to everything else. Yep. So color consistency is a big great. deal. That, that's yeah. awesome. And listen guys, this is exactly why 
you come to ISA shows or any kind of sign shows because we just talked to you guys for what 20 minutes you dropped six things on us that we had no clue about you know and, and w this is what we do for a living we're here every yeah. single day in the trenches but to have these guys inventing this stuff coming up with these ideas in the background man that's why you partner up with companies like this that's why you come to the show to find out all the new technology that's mm -hmm. happening Thank oh, you guys, man. I love nerding out so on the man. sign industry. Yes, Dale, it's great. Yes, it's great Thank to you see you again, man. Rick, man. Thank you. Too, man. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys, we have a lot more to see here at this show, so stay tuned.